SUVs are a commanding force across the automotive landscape. This is especially true of luxury SUVs, which accounts for over 60% of luxury vehicle sales. A midsize SUV also provides special benefits, including an elevated driving position, available all-wheel drive, and a large flexible cargo area. It's no wonder buyers are flocking to midsize SUVs, despite the price premium they command over upscale sedans. Naturally, midsize SUVs are more expensive than the compact segment. But they aren't prohibitively pricier, and growing families, who need extra passenger or cargo room, will appreciate the added versatility. Whether you're shopping for a daily commuter, fuel efficiency, or you need something comfortable and practical for your family. A midsize SUV has a lot to offer. With many stylish options to choose from, you're sure to find a model to match your personality, along with plenty of high-tech features and modern conveniences. There are tons of options in the midsize SUVs category. But these are the highest rated midsize SUVs you should consider. To make the shopping process less daunting and easier to navigate, I have compiled in my opinion, a list of the top 10 best family midsize SUVs from worst to first. Stay with me as I break down the numbers.
For the past four years, the Toyota Highlander has been the best-selling retail vehicle in the extremely competitive mid-size SUV segment. And this fourth generation raises the bar even further, thanks to its injection of serious style, performance, and premium features. Highlander's lineup includes gasoline and hybrid, front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive variations across six grades, with some new configurations, including the all-new XSE. Let's learn more. To craft Highlander's exterior appearance, Toyota's designers sought to achieve an organic blend of power and sophistication. With its sculpted styling, Highlander makes a statement whether it's pulling up to the restaurant for date night or cruising down the highway with your crew on an epic road trip. This exterior isn't just about looks, though, with Highlander also offering standard LED lighting on all grades, including the freshly updated projector-style lamps that were previously only featured on Limited and Platinum. Highlander's exterior also sports an available moonroof, or, in the case of the Platinum grade, a power panoramic view moonroof. Roof rails are also available, as is a hands-free power rear lift gate that enables cargo area access even with hands full of grocery bags or sports equipment. Finally, the aggressive new XSE grade boasts a sporty front bumper, grille, and lower spoiler. Unique 20-inch machined face alloy wheels, plenty of black exterior accents, and even a twin-tip exhaust, a first for the Highlander family. The fourth-generation Highlander has a premium interior that's sure to impress both driver and passenger alike. From its driver-focused interior layout to the dash-integrated design of its touchscreen multimedia systems. But Highlander's interior goes far beyond its style, with its great convenience features including a standard power driver's seat, in-dash storage areas, and rear seat reminder. There's also available rain-sensing wipers and an available 1,500-watt cargo outlet on select hybrid trims. Highlander doesn't come up short on comfort offerings either, with standard three-zone automatic climate control, several available features like heated and ventilated front seats, heated second-row seats, and heated steering wheel, and even standard leather-trimmed seating on limited and platinum grades. Plus, XSC offers two unique interior choices, including a red and black two-tone leather-trimmed interior with red stitching. Like the exterior, Highlander's interior benefits from the TNGA platform, which helps deliver improved cargo space behind the third row, as well as impressive passenger room in both eight or the available seven-passenger seating configuration. In terms of in-cabin technology, Every Highlander starts with standard compatibility for Apple CarPlay, which connects drivers to Apple Music, Maps, Messages, and other favorite apps from your iPhone. In addition, Android Auto makes it easy to stay connected to Android devices, while Amazon Alexa connectivity keeps Amazon's digital assistant just a question away. Plus, there's a three-month SiriusXM all-access trial subscription to more than 300 radio channels accessible throughout the country. Highlander offers great convenience features as well, including available Qi-compatible wireless charging that keeps drivers from fumbling for a cord, as well as five standard USB ports for charging your own hardware. And on select models, drivers can feel like the DJ of their crew with the available JBL sound system that pumps 1200 watts of power through its 11 premium speakers. This audio multimedia platform simply offers a variety of entertainment choices whether it's music, podcasts, audiobooks, or catching up on phone calls, as well as multiple navigation options, all of which comes together to help make every trip fun and stress-free. Plus, drivers can enjoy the large 12.3-inch touchscreen display, standard on Platinum and available on Limited. Similarly, the convenient and standard Smart Key system enables drivers to leave the key fob in their purse or pocket when starting, entering, or exiting the vehicle. Highlander also supports Toyota's line of connected services, including standard Wi-Fi Connect compatibility on all models, and available Remote Connect to locate your vehicle, lock or unlock the doors, and even start the engine, all from your mobile device. Highlander's emphasis on safety is clearly evident in its standard Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 Plus suite of active safety systems. This updated bundle includes pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, 
Now with intersection support enhancement and a driver-initiated emergency steering assist enhancement, lane departure alert with steering assist, automatic high beams, full speed range dynamic radar cruise control, now with curve speed management, lane tracing assist, and road sign assist. And for added peace of mind, Toyota Safety Connect service also comes standard with roadside assistance, an emergency assistance button, stolen vehicle locator, and, in case of an accident, automatic collision notification, allowing Toyota's 24-7 response center to notify emergency services with the vehicle's location. Highlander further rounds out its safety story with standard blind spot monitor with rear cross-traffic alert on all models except L, as well as useful features like available front and rear parking assist and automated braking, and an available digital rear view mirror that shows what's behind the vehicle, even when the cargo area is packed with items. While Highlander's powerful engines ensure that it has no shortage of get up and go, its real performance lies in its incredible efficiency and capability. To this end, Highlander's hybrid models have rewritten the book on what's possible for this segment, thanks to an EPA-estimated 36 MPG combined on the front-wheel drive variants. The other key performance story is Highlander's capability and versatility, which can be seen in its newly expanded drivetrain offerings. For Highlander's fourth generation, hybrid models will be offered in front-wheel drive, perfect for Sunshine State drivers that don't need the added traction of all-wheel drive and would prefer a lower cost of entry instead. Of course, Toyota's hybrid electronic on-demand all-wheel drive system remains a staple for those who do need extra traction. And for gas models, a choice between front-wheel and all-wheel drive continues for the latest generation, but now there are two all-wheel drive options, a mechanical system and a sophisticated dynamic torque vectoring system available on XSE, Limited, and Platinum that can distribute engine power to the left and right rear wheels as needed to enhance traction. Additionally, both of these gas all-wheel drive systems include standard multi-terrain select, meaning that drivers can enjoy environment-specific capability off the pavement, whether in a Vermont snowstorm or on a San Diego beach. And as icing on the cake, both of these all-wheel drive systems also feature the fuel-saving driveline disconnect function to help drivers get every last mile out of their tanks. Built on the TNGA platform, Highlander's chassis strength and suspension design help to enhance vehicle agility while also ensuring a smooth and quiet ride. And for those after sportier steering and more responsive handling, XSE's suspension system and power steering have been tuned to deliver a more engaging driving feel. Highlander's value story is set to continue shaking up the segment in a big way, just as it's done since its 2001 debut. And that means more than just approachable pricing. It also means ownership perks like the Toyota Care no-cost maintenance plan with roadside assistance and great coverage like the 8-year 100,000-mile hybrid system warranty and the 10-year 150,000-mile hybrid battery warranty. Hockey practice, camping, or date night. Wherever family adventure takes you, arrive safely in comfort and style. Spacious seating for 8 or 7 passengers. Sophisticated styling and innovative safety technology. Meet the Hyundai Palisade. The Palisade is ready to move you with a dynamic 3.8 liter GDI engine that is paired with the smooth shifting 8 speed automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. The traditional gear shifter has been replaced with intuitive buttons to allow for a clean look and maximized storage space. Put the powerful 262 pound feet of torque to good use with a trailer preparation package that offers up to 5,000 pounds of towing capacity. The auto-leveling rear suspension will automatically adjust the Palisade to maintain a consistent ride height level when you are carrying heavy loads. Drive with confidence with the H-Track all-wheel drive system. Choose between four drive modes that adjust the traction distribution. Comfort, Eco, Sport, or Smart. You can also customize the system to handle different road surfaces thanks to three terrain modes. Snow, Mud, or Sand. The Palisade's presence is as powerful as its performance, with signature LED lighting at the front and rear, 
front door handle welcome lights, one touch button entry, and puddle lamps help enhance visibility in a dark parking lot. Complementing the Palisades' sophisticated style are 20 inch alloy wheels. Heading out on an epic road trip or just running errands, pack it all in quickly and easily with the Smart Power Lift Gate. It senses the available proximity key and opens the trunk hands free. The Palisade offers a lot of versatile space. Up to 2,447 liters of cargo capacity when second and third row seats are folded down. Conveniently placed buttons on the side of the trunk let you fold down the second and third row seats. The driver can also control the electric seats in the third row from the touchscreen display. The Palisade goes the extra mile to give you the luxurious experience you deserve, starting with passenger space. Three rows of seating offer room for up to eight passengers. The seven-passenger configuration features second-row captain's chairs. With either setup, the third row is conveniently accessible thanks to the one-touch walk-in button to fold and slide second-row seats, making it easy for passengers to enter and exit. Air vents have also been added above both the second and third row for added comfort. You can choose between diffuser or direct airflow. Now let's step inside to the driver's seat and sink into the premium quilted Napa leather seats. Find enhanced comfort with lumbar support and extend the bottom cushion for additional leg support, finding the perfect comfort level for you. Plus, the driver's integrated memory system will keep your settings readily available. Surround yourself in the warmth of our heated features. A heated steering wheel, heated front seats, and heated rear seats are available for second row passengers. Also, ventilated front and second row seats feel refreshing on warmer days. With three zone climate control, the driver, front passenger, and second row passengers can all adjust the temperature to their personal preference. Front and center is the large high resolution touch screen display. You can split the screen three ways to view multiple pieces of information at once. What makes your drive even better? The crisp sound of your favorite tunes on the Harman Kardon premium audio system. With 12 speakers throughout the cabin, everyone gets to enjoy the music. But just in case little ones in the back are sleeping, you can turn on quiet mode to mute speakers in the second and third rows so front passengers can still enjoy the music. Let the sun shine in. Everyone will love the expansive dual panel sunroof. The Palisade connects you to the latest technology, like our Blue Link connected vehicle system. It allows you to start your vehicle remotely and so much more, all from your smartphone. When you're in closer proximity, you can also use the key fob for remote start. The sleek 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster provides an all digital view of your gauges and offers a variety of different settings and information. It's where you'll find the blind view monitor so you can see what's happening in your blind spots quickly and easily. Other great conveniences include the head up display for important information, like if someone is in your blind spot, navigation directions and speed, all within your line of sight and the surround view monitor that lets you see 360 degrees around you with multiple viewpoints, making it easier to park in tight areas. The Palisade also offers a sophisticated driver talk intercom system, amplifying the driver's voice through the audio system so you don't have to raise your voice to talk with rear seat passengers. Enjoy up to two Bluetooth phone connections at once. Stream music from one phone, take a call from another. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay keep you further connected with your favorite apps safely on the touchscreen or through voice commands. And if your smartphone battery is running low, just place it on the wireless charging pad. Plus, there is a total of seven USB outlets conveniently located throughout the cabin to help keep devices charged and connected on the go. Another feature that gives you one less thing to worry about is the rain-sensing windshield wipers. The Palisade makes the safety of you and your passengers a top priority, starting with the superstructure. It's made of our own advanced high-strength steel that's designed to be stronger, stiffer, and lighter. This strong frame is paired with our advanced Hyundai SmartSense safety innovations. An impressive list of technologies include Forward Collision Avoidance Assist. It alerts you to a potential collision with a vehicle, pedestrian, or cyclist. 
If you don't stop in time, emergency braking can be applied. If you drift outside your lane, the lane departure warning with Lane Keeping Assist will alert you with audible and visual cues. The system can also gently correct your steering to help you remain within your lane. And Lane Following Assist can assist your steering to help keep the Palisade continuously centered between the appropriate lane markings. Adaptive Cruise Control is great for longer trips. The system adjusts your speed to keep a preset distance from the vehicle ahead and even works in stop-and-go traffic. And our Highway Driving Assist is like your co-pilot. It helps keep you centered in the lane and traveling at a safe distance from the vehicle ahead. It can also help you keep to the speed limit, adjusting your pace based on GPS and highway data. Change lanes with confidence thanks to the Blind Spot Collision Avoidance Assist. If the system detects a vehicle in your blind spot, it will alert you and can also apply gentle braking to deter an unsafe lane change. The Blind View Monitor is also helpful for extra perspective. Park into even the tightest parking spot, worry-free with Parking Distance Warning. It sounds an alert as you approach an object, in front or behind, which will increase in frequency as you approach closer to the object. Rear Cross-Traffic Collision Avoidance Assist also makes navigating busy parking lots a breeze. The system warns you if a vehicle is approaching from the side, as well as the direction it's approaching from, and can apply braking if no action is taken. Long road trip ahead? Driver Attention Warning monitors signs of driver fatigue and can suggest when to take a driving break. Another innovative feature is Safe Exit Assist, which will lock the rear doors if a vehicle is detected approaching from behind in the adjacent lane. To help prevent rear passengers from exiting the vehicle into oncoming traffic, even after the vehicle ignition is turned off. And Ultrasonic Rear Occupant Alert is designed to help prevent children and pets from being accidentally left behind. Ultrasonic sensors monitor the rear seats and sound the alarm, as well as send an alert to your smartphone through Blue Link when movement is detected. Finally, High Beam Assist will automatically turn your High Beam settings on or off depending on surrounding conditions at night. The Palisade is backed by our 5-year, 100,000-kilometer comprehensive limited warranty, one of the best-backed warranties in Canada, and the assurance of our 5-year, unlimited-kilometer roadside assistance program. Whether you're pulling up to hockey practice or arriving at the city's trendiest restaurant, the Hyundai Palisade fits your life and style. The Kia Sorento is in the market since 2002 already, and now Kia presents the fourth generation of their car. On board now are new infotainment systems, new driver assistance safety systems, new engines and powertrains, and the car features more space. What else it delivers, how it drives, what it costs, let's find out now. Talking about materials and craftsmanship inside of the Sorento, I have to say that car really works well. You do find soft touch, you find leather, you find metal, you find loads of glossy stuff all very nicely made and all looks very fresh and modern. From time to time a bit too modern maybe like the part here, it's the 3D stuff, it's the same as with the dashboard and here it's part of the ambient light system as well. I think not everybody will like it but I think it's a very nice feature and overall that car really looks and feels very fresh, very modern but on the other hand very solid as well. Looking at the front of the new Sorento, it's a completely new face. The car features a much larger grille here, and that is flanked by completely new LED headlamps. Important to know is they, the car always comes with fog lights, headlamps, and um, daytime running lights in LED technology. But you can also order a full LED package. Uh, then you find this middle part here, which really splits the front in half, top and and the, the lower part. The lower part also features a much larger air intake and a very sharp designed front bumper. And I think this really is the, 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 the side of the car where people will say, I like it or I dislike it. Another comfort feature for the Kia Sorento are heated seats here at the front as standard. If you pay a bit more, if you have a higher trim level, you can have them with a ventilation system as well. And on top of this, you do find two of the rear seats with a heating system as well. Very important to know is that there is an automatic system on board which will adjust the heating of the seats in comparison to the temperature outside of the car or in comparison to the climate control on board. A front wheel powered Sorento is available with a 202 horsepower 2.2 liter diesel and automatic from around 41,400 euros in Germany. The all wheel drive version costs almost 5,000 euros more. 
The Volkswagen Tiguan Allspace with front-wheel power and 150 horsepower diesel and automatic cost from around 39,500 euros. A BMW X3 X-Drive 20D with 190 horsepower diesel, automatic and all-wheel drive is available from just over 48,000 euros. Looking at the side of our Sorento, you do find quite a large wheel. Important to know is that car comes to standard with a 17-inch alloy and then that from trim level to trim level getting more, 18, 19 and the top version 20. We do have the 19-inch on board and that really looks, I think, quite solid. Overall, the proportions of the car have changed a bit because we now have a longer hood and the glass house has moved a bit more to the rear of the car. Um, the, di the dimensions are nearly the same because it's now 1 meter 70 in height, it's just 1 centimeter more, and it's uh, 4 meters 81 in length, which is also 1 centimeter more. But the wheelbase has changed, which is now 2 meters 82, and that's a plus of 3.5 centimeters, so that really makes the difference. And so overall, the car looks a lot more dynamic than before. Another thing that is new, we do find more, yeah, let's say, crisp lines on the car, like this one here, which is the shoulder line, but that one wraps around the whole vehicle, and that really gives that car the typical new, unique look of Kia. But you do find some old stuff, let's say that way, like this one here. Looks like a bit like the fin of a shark, as you may know from its predecessor as well. The base equipment level of the Sorento is really quite nice. That car features, for instance, a fully digital cockpit 12.3 inch at least eight inch uh, as a touchscreen for the infotainment but with the next uh, trim level you instantly get 10.25 uh, on top of this you get for instance a climate control which is always on board and loads and loads more you find a list here of what is always on board with the new Kia Sorento on top of this you can while choosing different trim levels get loads and loads of extra stuff and of course you can choose these bits and pieces um, separately so whatever you want you may then find uh, but here's the list as well just to give you an impression of what the next trim level will bring and of course what you can choose in packages or at single pieces to make the Kia Sorento your Kia Sorento. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are also part of the standard equipment as well as digital radio and a Bluetooth hand-free system. The rear of the car is really my favorite viewpoint of the new Kia Sorento because we have this wide shoulders we have this very big um, rooftop spoiler and we have this quite high starting window graphic at the rear and that really gives the car power on top we do have this upright taillights here and so they do really push the power to the very edge of the car and they're running into the side of the car as well and this gives the car extra power and pressure from the rear on top you find very yeah, prominent the name of the car on the boot lid this is something you may find in other new Kia models as well and you do find um, yeah let's say a fake underwrite protection and something that looks a bit like exhaust but I think they find a quite a nice solution and to be really honest I think this really is the look you want to have at first when you look at the new car the front seat they do not only deliver loads and loads of comfort they also deliver more than enough support and what I really do like with the seats is the passenger seat, for instance, I can adjust from here. So if I give, want to give somebody behind the passenger side a bit more space, or if I use the car as a chauffeur limousine, I could easily do that right from my driver's seat. If your garage at home is too small or the parking space too narrow to get in, the Sorento now offers what is known as remote parking. That means nothing else that it can be parked by using your key as a remote control if needed. The space the car offers at the front seats is really nice. Even a tall person like me, I'm nearly two meters high. I do sit absolutely comfortable in the car. I can adjust everything the way I want, and it's really, really nice. How about uh, the space behind me? We're going to find out that while having a short stop. So that's the short break I've promised to check if I can sit behind me. Uh, I didn't change my driving position, as you see. Quite, yeah, quite a big one to enter the car. Important is, um, with the new construction of the car and the longer wheelbase, that can now features about nearly 10 centimeters more of leg room on the passenger seats here. So entering is easy, as you see. And now let's see how about space. You can see in front of my knees, I would say 10 centimeters space, mass, really marvelous. And headroom, that works. It's nothing left, but it's fine. And we're talking about a compact SUV. And I'm 1 meter 95 behind 1 meter 95 now. And I have quite yeah, a tall upper body. So that really is a lot of space. And important to know is we would love to show you the seven seater because they've changed the entrance process. You can now slide more to the front 
with that bench to enter the rear seats here and that makes that a lot easier but unfortunately we do not have a seven seater as a test car when you look at the driver assist and safety systems of the new sorento you instantly see that is a modern and new car because you get loads of things for free where you have to pay at other brands for instance you do have an active lane assist on board you do have a system that recognizes if you get tired uh, you do find a rear view camera on board and you do find parking sensors for instance front and rear as standard and many many more things and of course on top of that you can buy extras in uh, in packages or separately to really make your Kia Sorento not only more comfortable but also even more safe. The blind spot assistant is an eye catcher in the truest sense of the word. As soon as you initiate the indicator, a camera image is displayed in the cockpit that shows the area next to and behind the Sorento. The steering and the suspension of the Sorento really doing a very nice job. The car is not rolling at all and it's stiff enough and still comfortable and the steering is precise enough but not nervous. So that really fits that SUV perfectly. And we're talking about a car with a weight of about 1900 kilogram and still it's very nicely to control even if you drive a bit more sporty. When the Sorento enters the market, there will be two different powertrains available. One is a 1.6 liter hybrid engine, a petrol one that delivers 230 horsepower and will be com com combined with a, a six speed automatic gearbox. And then there will be the already known 2.2 liter diesel engine, which is combined with an eight speed DCT uh, gearbox. And that then offers you 202 horsepower. Both of the cars can be ordered either as a front power car or all wheel drive. And then early next year, Kia promised to have a plug-in hybrid as well. System output there, 265 horsepower, and that car will always come with all wheel drive. And they say it will be able to drive more than 50 kilometers purely on electric power. According to the data sheet, the average consumption of our diesel should be six liters per 100 kilometer driven. During our test drive, however, nine to 10 liters are needed at normal speeds. Looking into the boot of our Kia Sorento, you do find 910 liters with the rear seats up, and that increases up to 2,100 liters if you fold the rear bench down. By the way, 60 to 40% is possible. Um, when we talk about this, we talk about the five-seater diesel version. If you want the hybrid version, that makes in both situations um, between eight up to 15 liters less boot capacity. And it's only a little number because the battery of the hybrid is mounted below the passenger seat at the front. Um, but this car is also offered as a seven seater. And then you really have to have to expect about 90 liters less in both situations. In terms of trunk volume, there is hardly any direct competitor that can deliver as much space as the Sorento. The BMW X3, for instance, offers 550 to a maximum of 1,600 liters and so significantly less than the Kia. A Volkswagen Tiguan Allspace comes close to the maximum with 760 to 1,920 liters, but not with the rear seats up. The car features more than enough compartments, so you do find standard compartments in the doors. You do find a very nice big one here at the front middle, which you can close. And inside of that, you not only find the uh, wireless charging, you also find three of the USB ports of the car and they are up to seven, one, uh, seven in the car overall. Um, and then you do find two cup holders, a small compartment behind them, and you find under the armrest another quite nice compartment. On top of this, on the rear bench, you do find two cup holders in the armrest and two bottle uh, compartments in the doors. That was my test drive in the brand new Kia Sorento. What I really like with the car, it has only grown a little bit at the exterior, but you can find loads, loads of extra space at the interior. On top, you get the newest uh, infotainment system, you get the newest driver assistance safety systems, and the car overall really is not only a remake, it's a completely new and very nice car. And I have to tell you, I didn't find any downside at all. Um, the only thing is the actual hybrid. I don't like so much because it's not powerful enough, but the diesel, is really a pleasure to drive and I'm waiting now for the plug-in hybrid next year.